In this presentation, we will continue our discussion on set identities. And in this particular presentation, we will start our discussion with De Morgan's laws. So let's get started. Under this category, we have two laws. A union B complement equal to A complement intersection B complement. A intersection B complement equal to A complement union B complement. We have to prove these laws one by one. They are very important for us to understand. Okay. First, we will prove A union B complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. From the definition of complement, we know that A union B complement is equal to Z of all X such that X does not belong to A union B. This is from the definition of complement, right? This is A union B complement. This set is nothing but a set of all X such that X does not belong to A union B, right? We can easily replace this statement by this statement. This is X does not belong to A union B. We can write this as not of X belongs to A union B. Okay. Also, you can see that I have written X belong to A union B. We can write this as X belong to A or X belong to B. So the whole statement is not of X belong to A or X belong to B. By using first De Morgan's law from the rules of logic, we can easily replace this statement by this statement. Here, this is not of X belong to A or X belong to B. This can be replaced by X does not belong to A and X does not belong to B. Here, this X does not belong to A can be replaced by X belong to A complement. Similarly, X does not belong to B can be replaced by X belong to B complement. So, the whole statement is X belong to A complement and X belong to B complement. In other words, we can say that X belong to A complement intersection B complement. So, the whole set is a set of all X such that X belong to A complement intersection B complement, which is equal to A complement intersection B complement. Therefore, A union B complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. Isn't that so? So, this is how we have proved this, right? Now, we will prove A intersection B complement must be equal to A complement union B complement. Here from the definition, we know that A intersection B complement is nothing but set of all X such that X does not belong to A intersection B. We can easily replace this X does not belong to A intersection B by not of X belong to A intersection B. This can be replaced by X belong to A and X belong to B. Again, by using second De Morgan's law of logical equivalences, we can say that this is equivalent to X does not belong to A or X does not belong to B. And here we can easily replace this X does not belong to A by X belong to A complement. And similarly, X does not belong to B can be replaced by X belong to B complement. And here we can write X belong to A complement union B complement because this is X belong to A complement or X belong to B complement, right? From this, we can easily write A complement union B complement. Therefore, A intersection B complement is equal to A complement union B complement, right? Next, we will discuss absorption laws. There are two laws under this category. One is A union A intersection B. This must be equal to A. And A intersection A union B must be equal to A. Okay. These are absorption laws. Let's try to prove them one by one. Let's prove this law first. That is A union A intersection B is equal to A. Here is the proof. We will try to prove this in a different way. Prove that A union A intersection B is a subset of A and A is a subset of A union A intersection B, okay? If this is true and this is true, then there is no doubt that A union A intersection B is equal to A, right? This way, we will try to prove that A union A intersection B is equal to A. First, we will prove that A union A intersection B is a subset of A. For this, let us assume that X belong to A union A intersection B, okay? The idea is, if X belong to A union A intersection B, then X must belong to A as well, right? Now here I'm assuming that X belong to A union A intersection B. This means that X belong to A or X belong to A intersection B. In other words, we can say that X belong to A or X belong to A and X belong to B, right? By first absorption law of logical equivalences, we can say that P or P and Q is equal to P. This is from the first absorption law of logical equivalences. This is P, this is P and this is Q. P or P and Q is equal to P. Therefore, we can say that X belong to A or X belong to A and X belong to B is nothing but X belong to A. Therefore, A union A intersection B is a subset of A, right? Now, let's just try to prove the other side of the coin. That is, A must be a subset of A union A intersection B. Let X belong to A. 
we know that an element of a union a intersection b is an element that is in a or a intersection b right obviously we know that an element of a union a intersection b is an element that is in a that is either in a or in a intersection b or it can be in both we know that x belong to a therefore a union a intersection b must be true therefore x must belong to a union a intersection b this is true right hence we can say that a is also a subset of a union a intersection b so we can say that a union a intersection b is equal to a right now let's just try to prove the second absorption law but we'll prove that with the old method we know the lhs part is a intersection a union b this can be written as the set of all x such that x belong to a and because of intersection and then x belong to a union b we can expand this and write this as x belong to a or x belong to b so the whole statement is x belong to a and x belong to a or x belong to b from second absorption law of logical equivalences we can say that p and p or q is equal to p let's say this is p and this is q therefore we can say that p and p or q is equal to p only that is this is equal to the set of all x such that x belong to a finally we end up with set a right therefore a intersection a union b is equal to a this is faster than the method that we have seen over here right therefore we will select this method for proving these theorems okay last but not the least we will discuss complement laws here we have two laws under this category a union a complement is equal to universal set and a intersection a complement is equal to phi let's just try to prove them one by one first we'll prove a union a complement is equal to universal set let's see the lhs part lhs is a union a complement right we can write this as set of all x such that x belong to a or x belong to a complement now here x belong to a or x belong to a complement is written this is nothing but universal set right this is the definition of universal set universal set definition says that either x belong to a or x belong to a complement that is everything right therefore we can say that this set is equal to universal set and hence lhs is equal to rhs right now let's just try to prove the second law that is a intersection a complement is equal to phi we can see that in lhs it is written a intersection a complement and we can write this as the set of all x such that x belong to a and x belong to a complement right is it possible even now you can clearly see this is not possible x cannot belong to a and a complement at the same time therefore this set is nothing but phi this is actually the definition of phi right that is empty set therefore this set is equal to phi hence we can say that lhs that is a intersection a complement is equal to rhs that is phi right okay friends this is it for now we have discussed all the set identities i hope you have understood everything i will see you in the next lecture bye